Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at it. We have our first arch and it looks so good. So obviously we went with the arch above the door. And just look at it, it looks so... Hey Farm Fam, so welcome cute. back to my channel. For those of you that are new, a welcome and welcome to part six of our barn updates. So I'm super sweaty because I actually just got done filming the huge tack haul that I've already posted on my channel. If you guys haven't watched it, make sure you go back and watch it. And of course, if you guys haven't seen any of the other parts of this barn, make sure you go back and watch those after you watch this video or before, but make sure you come back to this video because a lot of really cool stuff is happening in this video. We're gonna have a lot of progress happening, so I'm super excited. So let's just get right into it. We'll do a recap and then we'll get started on what we're gonna start doing now. If you guys are excited for today's video and today's progress, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos and of course have a chance to be my next post notification shout out. All right guys, let's get into the video. So this is how the stalls are looking. So technically I just got filming last night in my time for the video, for the last video barn update that you guys saw. So we have put all the top boards up, the two by eight. And now obviously you guys can see that we still need to put the arches up. So that's one of the first things we're gonna work on today in here. And we also put the tack room door on. So I'm super happy about that. That's where I filmed my tack room haul video like I showed you guys. So it's cool to be able to use that. Things are gonna start getting going in there really soon. So we're gonna go ahead right now and start the arches and by popular demand and your guys' comments, you guys overwhelmingly Agreed that we should do straight, arch, straight. So, because you guys are so awesome, that's what we're going to be doing today. We're gonna to do straight, arch, straight. And I absolutely love your guys' input on this barn. So I'm so happy that I can get you guys' comments and suggestions and we can make them happen. So, we have our first board right here with this arch. There's the arch. That's my most perfected arch that I have. So we're gonna go ahead and cut it. We're gonna try like a different method of cutting it today. It's still gonna be like a little jigsaw, but it's better jigsaw. So we're gonna do that and then we'll trace them and then we'll put them up and it's really gonna start looking. I feel like I say this every single time. It's really gonna start looking like a barn now, but every single step it really starts to look like a barn. Also on the note of loving your guys' suggestions. So I actually got a message from one of you guys on Instagram and it was so cool because they gave me a great idea. So, for right here where the stalls are, I need to turn the camera around so I can show you guys because I'm super excited about this idea and I hope we can make it work. So they sent me this picture, which I'm gonna put on the screen right now. So as you guys can see, basically, it's showing that we should do an arch like this, right here. So now, especially since we're gonna go straight, arch, straight, we are gonna see what it's gonna look like by doing now if we made it so that it would just kinda casually do an arch here. So I thought it'd be really cute, but we need to see how it's gonna look. So what we're actually gonna do, we're not gonna cut any of these boards, so if you guys remember, we go six boards up here and seven boards back there. So I did that on purpose because these would have bars on it anyways. And then this is where the horses can stick their heads out on the front. But now what I'm gonna do is since it's gonna be possibly an arch, we'll do a seventh board so it'll exactly line up to our sidewall boards. And then it will drift down like a slight little curve. So it'll be super cute and just an added detail. So we're gonna see if it looks good. I'm really, really, hyped about it so hopefully it works because it's gonna just add like a really nice detail to it and it'll look really nice because it'll be straight and then it'll be the same height and then just go down into an angle and then the door will go straight and then down and up into an angle and then right here it'll go straight or so I don't know I thought it'd be really pretty the way that they explained it too so we're gonna try to see if we can do that and see if that'll work but we have a lot to do today so let's get started on these arches because I'm so excited. Mike's going to be cutting and then I'm going to be sanding and my back is killing me every day from sanding but I only have to now though. So I'm so excited you guys thought this idea was good too because before I was going to have to do arch, straight, arch. So for each stall I was going to have to do two more arches so I was kind of dreading that but now I just have to do one arch, two arch, three arch, four arch, five arch. So I only have to do five arches when I was going to have to do ten arches. So very grateful. Thanks guys for being on the same page with us. <laughs> So Mike has the DeWalt that we're gonna be using because the little craftsman that, that was that could did all that it could. So after like six arches, this poor little guy died on us. So he's well, dead. Yeah, yeah, he's not doing very well, but he did good for the other arches and just it didn't go well. So now we have the DeWalt and and hopefully this will give us some really crisp clean arches mike would do really good on these because these are gonna be the doorways and all of the farm fam wants to make sure the doorways look really nice so i think you just don't want to sand them 
No, that's <laughs> right. You're very true. But still, we're gonna crank it out, and well, Mike, as in we, is gonna well, give us a nice cut. This is done. I know. So the first cut has started and this saw is actually working like a dream. If you go back and look at my previous videos of us cutting arches, this one does way better. So I was super happy about this. All right, you guys, one art down and this saw does way better. So it looks really great. Just a little bit right here that I'm gonna have to sand. I'm gonna sand it all anyways, make it nice and smooth. Um, this is the only part that we will perfect because the first one we have to super perfect because then we trace them, but then We'll be moving and grooving with arches. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, you guys, so I'm just getting my sander ready. A lot of sanding to do on this arch, but I'm super excited, so we are ready. So again, I am just sanding my little hard way, <laughs> and Mike is getting the next board ready to be cut, but I'm just trying to make this arch perfect so that we can trace it. So now we're done sanding, you guys, so I need to be quick again because Mike is just holding this by himself, but I am freaking in love. It looks so good. So we had to make sure that this was gonna work before we went ahead and traced and cut them all. So now I approve. I hope you guys approve too. If you guys like this, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up because I love this. All right, we need to give Mike a break. We're gonna go ahead and let him put it down, but I think it's all safe to say that that's the plan that we are going with. <laughs> so we just went ahead and traced the first one and now we're gonna go ahead and actually put the first one up where it needs to go so that we can just Lightly put up the second one to make sure because this is going to be the hard part about this is that we're trying to get the arches in the middle of these two posts on each stall. So it's not just like, oh, one big arch and you may not notice if they're different or not. But this one we are really trying to get each arch right in the middle um, where the doors are going to go. So this one's going to be just a little bit trickier and take a little bit more time. So instead of just doing an assembly line and cutting and sanding and putting them up all at once, we're going to have to do this piece by piece. So we are gonna go ahead and now um, screw them up, which I'm excited for anyways, because I wanna see it. The first board is finally going up and this was a big challenge. This is a very big board and to see if it was in the middle of the two bars was really hard. So, but we figured it out and it worked. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at it. We have our first arch and it looks so good. So obviously we went with the arch above the door and just look at it, it looks so, Stinking cute, I love it. Oh, I'm so excited. We have to do the rest of them. All right, you guys, so it is day two of this vlog. So, as you guys saw yesterday, obviously you just saw, we had the first arch done, which I'm so obsessed with, but now we need to get the rest of the arches done. We have one, two, three, four more, four more arches to go. I don't know how long we're gonna work in here, but my goal for today is just to get the arches done, and then tomorrow, we're gonna start on the electricity and hopefully I'm gonna start um, insulating and putting drywall up in the tack room if all goes as planned. So we just need to just jump right into it and get working today. Another day and of course more sanding and Mike is actually able to start cutting some more of the arches because we traced them out and we're able to start our little process but of course a lot of sanding and a lot of cutting. You guys, I'm so hot. This is the face of sanding for like an hour but it's all gonna be worth it. The only thing that kind of bums me about this is because it's all for the aesthetic. It doesn't necessarily help the horses get in here quicker, but it is something that I wanted to do and I just wanted to make the barn look perfect. So I'll be happy when these arches are done because then we can actually start working on things that are gonna help get the horses in here quicker than these arches. Um, but we're almost done. So we have one more left to cut technically, but we moved Mike's little operation in the barn because it's so hot out right now. It's literally so hot. We have this one that's gonna go here, and then this one, I just got finished sanding, that's gonna go there. And unfortunately, we have to do these like literally piece by piece, so this is not like a normal assembly line, like normal. And then this one we measured, and Mike just got done cutting this one, so we'll have to put it up there, see how it looks. And then we will be able to go ahead and do the final one. But basically, we have them almost all cut out. And I am just so out of breath and ready for this part to be done. But it's gonna be worth it and it's gonna look really good. So now it is starting, we are getting that second board up and we actually found our clamps as you guys can see. Thank goodness because as you guys saw, the first board that we tried to put up was extremely hard. So with the clamps, I'm actually able to sit back and look to see if the arch is exactly where it needs to be. So we figured this out, the clamps worked great and we just kept plugging away. And occasionally I had to go up and hold them a little bit and then we would trim and come back 
and it would fit perfect so I was super happy with the arches and I casually started to sand the fronts just to get all of the markings out of them all right you guys we finally have this whole side done of arches and it looks so good I'm so excited it was a lot of work but as you guys saw we actually had the clamp so that helped but we've got these arches pretty on center so I'm super excited about it it looks so good so now next I'm kind of thinking of like right here framing it with wood so just like putting literal like pieces of wood on top of the metal so you don't see the metal but I don't know I'm not opposed to keeping it metal either because we have metal accents like all over the place on the barn so we'll see but I really love it and it's gonna look so good with the straight door and then we'll put like their name badges on there everyone keeps asking about that we are definitely gonna put um their names on their stalls once they figure out which stall they want and now we just have to do this side and now we're working on the other side and you guys basically know the drill by now so yeah just enjoy it and watch Oh my gosh, you guys, so it's finally done. Oh, this took a long time, but it looks so good. I'm so happy about it. Wow, this looks great. These arches I definitely think are better than our side arches, so that's great because we really wanted to make these look as close to perfect as possible, but I absolutely love how this looks. I'm just glad that this part's over with. So now that we can get back to like more essential stuff, <laughs> But this just looks really pretty. I wanna back up and kinda of show you guys everything. So basically this is what it looks like when you walk in. So it just looks so cool. I am in love, oh my gosh. All right you guys, today is day three of this vlog. Today we are tackling the electricity. So hopefully after this vlog we will have electricity. We'll have fans going and it gets us one big step closer to getting the horses in here because that's one of the biggest things is the bedding and having fans in here because the doors, the Dutch doors on the outsides of the stalls are gonna take us a little bit longer, but as long as we have fans and keep these big doors open, we should have enough airflow in here for them to get in while we're still doing work on the barn. So we're gonna go ahead and just get started on the electric today. So this is the wire to get the power through and then we got a brand new breaker box for the barn so we can run everything off this and we can shut off anything that we need to. So we have the wire on this like shovel handle thing, spooling it out. 150 feet, and Mike's going all the way down to the barn. So we're taping these wires together. We have two power wires and a ground wire, and then we're taping them together so they stay together and they all go the same distance because you'll have some that'll hang up and stay. Um, so we're just gonna feed them down the pipe all the way, and we're going to pray that they don't get stuck somewhere so they just go nice and smooth. <laughs> but it's probably gonna get stuck because that's what happens. So they are just starting to feed these three wires through the conduit and it's supposed to go 150 feet all the way out to the other end. This is a really interesting thing to me. Alright, let's stop there and take. Alright y'all, so this is take two because it did stop a good ways through, but now they're just pulling it out and trying to tape more spaces so it doesn't get caught up. Put it in like a foot. Or three feet or so and then we'll do it again. So as you can see, they're just starting to put it back in and start to re-tape with more electrical tape. Yeah, so tape. what happens is the, if you don't tape it, the wires start to, instead of being like this, they start to bunch up. And when you go to push them, they just go like this and they don't want to go. So if you keep them taped, then they're kind of like a solid piece and then they'll want to go in more. But, You're so technical, wow. Yeah, I know. Terms and stuff, science. <laughs> <laughs> so now that the wire is through the conduit, Mike has to just finish digging the trench, if you guys remember in one of my previous videos. We only could dig it so far, now we're closer to the barn. So he's just digging away so that we can bury the rest of this right here, this gray pipe. So it's already buried all the way through down in that swamp. <laughs> and then now we'll just have to bury it all the way through here and then into the barn right there. So now Mike is just putting the pipes together and gluing them. So actually Mike does plumbing for work. So he's actually really good at this. 
So he's just gluing and putting the pieces where they need to go so that the wires can run through it and then go up the side of our barn. So now here's our stud. Our stud here, obviously where the screws are. This may go in a little bit lower, I'm not sure. And then our breaker box will be on the inside, somewhere right in here attached to the stud. All right, you guys, it is day four of this vlog. This is gonna be the last day of this vlog. Day three wasn't very productive. We just did a little bit, but we didn't do a lot. We kind of got rained out. So now we are going to try to finish the electric and put the breaker box into the tack room and finish up as much as we can with all the electric so that we can start to drywall and insulate the tack room in the next vlog. So we need to get started and do that today. <laughs> okay, so we're outside of the barn. This is technically where the tack room is. And we're gonna start this. Yeah, so we got this Arch 90 that'll go right into, maybe it'll actually go right there, that'd be cool. We'll see though. So I'm gonna pull this through. It's raining pretty yes. hard. Put that on there. Oh, it's just. Yeah, so maybe we'll cut that down just yeah. a little bit so it goes there. All right, so we got it. We lowered it down. We got it where we want it. So now I'm gonna take a sharpie and just go inside and make my center mark, and then I'll drill my hole, and this should go right inside. Fabulous. And we'll be in good shape. So he's just leveling it and making his mark so that he can drill the hole. This is a drill bit, it's a step drill bit, so it starts small and just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Cool. Oh, like butter. All right, you guys, so this is the little pipe that has to fit in there, so it's perfect. Yay! One step closer to electricity. Now the wire has to be fed into here and into the barn it goes. Yippee! Wow, so exciting. That was good. So now this is what it looks like from inside of the barn. So basically that little hole right there will feed all of the wires. So then that'll go in and then up into the breaker and then we'll run all of our electricity through the breaker. Yay, look at that. So now he's just gonna fish up those wires up through it and basically We'll go up and into the breaker box, just like this. So Mike is opening up our breaker box. So I actually showed you guys a different breaker box, but this didn't have the front panel. The other one didn't, and I wanted a front panel. So we got a new one with a front panel. So basically this is where all of our electrical will come off of and it'll sit right there, and then the drywall will be around it. So now it's time to drill the breaker box into the barn. All right, you guys, so Mike has been running electric all the way over there. So this is kind of the lines, how it's going. This is actually going to um, be our new electric for our well. And then we still have to run wire all the way up top for the actual lights and fans in here. But going into the tack room here, this is our breaker, like I said. So these are our wires getting started. So this is outside, and then we'll attach the breakers. And then these are the wires, like I just said. So this one over here is going to go and connect to an outlet, so a power outlet over here. And then we have three wires, as you guys can see. So two go down to here because this will be an outlet and a light switch for the tack room. And then this one right here comes all the way out and out through the top and out the tack room. And like you guys saw, we'll go out into here. It's super dark. There we go. We'll go out into here. And then this is kind of the same process that we'll do to do the lights in the barn. But you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this barn vlog here. It's been four days and we have so much more stuff that's going to keep happening. Um, and this next vlogs that are coming up soon the horses will be getting into these sauce so I'm so excited if you guys like today's video make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below make sure you turn those post notifications so you don't miss any of my videos And of course have a chance to make a post notification shout out today shout out to us too 
All right, you guys, I love you, and I'll see you in the next barn update.